Host Halibut, please. Let's go. With Chris's high-risk attempt on steamed fish falling flat, the newly formed men's team will need Kevin to rebound with his. Coconut curry broth. I poached the halibut in the broth. That texture is really nice and moist. The broth is incredibly flavorful, and the cooking technique was done very, very well. While veteran Kevin looks to knock out his competition, veteran Roe counters with her. IPA and butter poached halibut. The fish itself just cooked properly. The smoked tomato broth is really nice, so I think you've done a very good job. But the halibut that Kevin's done really yes. hit what poaching technique should be, and I think the flavor is great, so I'd give the point to Kevin. Thank you, guys. Good job. That flavor packed a punch, and I won the point. Yeah, good start. That's really good feeling right now. That helps drive me. Next up, the battle of the hot smoked. Let's go, please. It's now up to rookie Scotley to try and tie it up against rookie Kane with his smoked halibut and applewood chips. I don't get a ton of smoke on it, so if you're going to go with some stronger other flavors, make sure you have enough smoke to hold up to that, OK? Yes, sure. With Scotley failing to properly use the smoking technique, the door is open for Kane's smoked halibut and baba ganoush. The texture of the fish is great. It's very, very moist. The point's going to? Kane, you did yeah. a great job. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Yes! I'm to beat my chest. Sorry, Scott Lee. Don't underestimate the women. <laughs> right, next up, battle of the shallow fries. Let's go. As the ladies extend their lead, it's Ariel's turn to try and impress the judges with her shallow fried halibut and tomatillo sauce. It really pops. It really works well together. The pressure is now on Jose with his shallow fried halibut featuring bacon braised red cabbage. The dish is really prepared well. It's flavorful. The fish is spot on cooked. It's cooked with half. They're both good. I would give them both a point for this. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Uh, nice. I really put my heart into that dish. And hearing that from Chef Ramsey, it meant the world to me. Next up, battle of the pan seared halibut. Mono and Heather. With the red team down two points with only two rounds to go, it's up to rookie Motto's pan seared halibut to keep their hopes alive. Beautiful presentation. Motto's halibut looks sexy. I want to dig my face into his dish. Like, that looks so fucking good. Seasoning on this, very nice. Oh, yeah, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. Properly cooked, you push the fish and it holds. That's the point where it's right there. Oh, fuck, man. I want some of that fish so bad. It tastes really great. Thank you. It really does. Right, uh, Heather, describe your dish, please, the chef. Chef, what I have for you is a pan seared halibut. I butter basted it with a little bit of star anise and a little bit of fennel and a parsnip beet fennel puree underneath. Look at that, glistening. Mmm, beautiful. The puree is very good. That citrus is like. It's almost like a mustarda yeah, yeah. power to it, right? Yeah, very good. Is it motto from the red team, or does the point belong to Heather, or are both dishes good enough to warrant a point? The puree is very good. Yeah, very good. But I have to say, the halibut, it isn't seasoned enough. I really think that motto, you've earned the point on this one. Thank you, Joe. Motto. Nice. All right, motto. Now we're back in it. We have some hope now. Final battle. Wood burning oven baked halibut. Let's go, T. Let's go. And Trev. I want nothing to do with this woman at all whatsoever. Battle of the T's. I know this is a good dish. This is a winner. I'm excited to bury this bitch. Right, T. Describe your dish to Chef. Thank you. I want the fish to stand on its own. So it is a ginger sake broth and uh, just some kumquats for a little extra citrus. The fish, it's super tasty. That really hits that on all marks. To a T. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Trevor, explain this to Chef, please. So we fired the uh, halibut with just a hint of S&P and some butter. You want to make sure you get that good sear and then bring it back so you're not overcooking anything. Something I really like to do with my food is babysit. Like to How treat much it. you get, 12 bucks an hour for that? Yeah, you know, sometimes it depends on where you're at. Uh, I would never leave my children alone with Trevor. Absolutely not. I like the combination tomatoes and arugula, classic, right? Job well done. I think it's great. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chef. Right, uh, both take your dishes back in line. I want this win bad. I can taste it, like, I need it. I need to get out of here. Does the point go to Trevor and the red team to even it, or does the point go to T with the victory? Bottom of the ninth, two outs, down by one, man on first, and here's the pitch. It's a swing. I think I have to go with the blue team with T. Yes. And a fucking miss, bro. Really? Good job, ladies. 